So your spreadsheet currently looks something like this, and it's your job to make it look more like that. Yes, it's an Excel formatting task, could be a nightmare, could take ages, but with just a few simple formatting ideas and our 26 Excel formatting keyboard shortcuts for Windows PC, we can dramatically speed up this kind of manual task in Excel. That's what we're going to do in the next 10, 15 minutes or so. We're going to demonstrate these keyboard shortcuts. But if we're meeting for the first time, a big welcome to Tiger Spreadsheet Solutions. I'm Chris Mortimer. I'm an Excel content creator, a real-world consultant and lecturer. I love bringing the powerful stuff in Excel to people like you. And we've got a free data analysis crash course. The link is in the video description below. The truth is I don't really use pivot tables in my data analysis. I've got simpler alternatives that you're going to love. The link's in the video description below. It's absolutely free. Just got to pop your email in and we'll send you the data analysis crash course. With that said, let's get into the download file. The link is in the video description below. Make sure you download it and work along with me. This is where we're starting. This is where we want to get to. The most common way that I actually format a cell in Excel is by stealing some formatting from somewhere else. Now, you might not be in this situation. You might have to build it up step by step. We're going to do that later. But let's suppose you want to format according to another cell. So go navigate to the sheet that contains the formatting. And I've navigated to the cell using the arrow keys. I'm now going to hold down Control and hit C. Control C, we can see the marching ants going around the cell. That cell, uh, the formats are now ready to go elsewhere. I now want to change sheet. Now on my system, I hold down the control key and the function key. You might not need the function key and page up the up arrow. That allows me to change sheets. So now I've got to navigate to the cells where I want to put the formatting. I'm holding down the shift key here and the right arrow to, to extend the selection, holding down the shift key and the right arrow. Now we want to special paste those formats in. How do we do that? Using the keyboard, of course, holding down Control and Alt on the Windows PC and hitting V is going to bring up the paste special dialog box. Now, have you ever wondered why some of these letters are underlined? Why are these letters underlined? W for column widths. Well, Excel is saying hit those letters and I'll tick that box. T. Obviously, T for formats. I've just hit T. Formats is now ticked. I can now hit enter and we've got our formats coming across there. Now, if you don't catch any of these shortcuts, they're all in the download file, all of the key combinations and in the video description below. Right. So copying formats across. There's an alternative way to do this, which I quite like using the format painter. So let's suppose we want to copy the formats from this cell. We're going to go Alt H F and then P. And suddenly our, our pointer has turned into a paintbrush. That's the Excel format painter. So wherever we go now and click, we can copy those formats to that cell. Wherever I click now and notice we've still got the paint paintbrush, the formats are going to be pasted in. So another alternative there using the format painter. Now the format painter is great if you're copying formatting from a button or from one shape to another, or particularly from one chart to another. You can get all those chart formats at the click of a button. So we've got different ways to paste formats from one cell to another using Paste Special and using the Format Painter. So you can see we want to add at least one column to the left of the data. I always do this with my spreadsheets. I just think it makes the data more accessible, more readable. That's the only purpose of formatting, to make the data more easier to interpret for your user. So we're going to select the whole column using the keyboard shortcut. So holding down control and then hitting space to select the whole column. Now I want to add a column to the left. Whole column is selected on the Windows PC, holding down control shift, holding down control shift, and then hitting plus and then plus again. And you could go for however, however many columns you need. You can see we've got our columns in there. And at the top here, you know, I don't like having data right in the top row. I want a little buffer there. So let's go shift and then spacebar, holding down shift and then hitting spacebar and then control shift and plus again allows me to put a couple of rows in there. OK, so adding rows and columns all possible using the keyboard shortcuts and they're all written down 
in the download file if you don't catch them. Let's think about um, column width here and uh, row height. So column width first. I want to adjust the column width here. The buffer columns are usually set to column width three. So this is a sequential shortcut. We're not holding keys down at the same time. We're tapping them one by one. So Alt, H, O, W, sequentially one by one brings up the column width dialog box. Now I can just hit three and enter and we've changed the column width using the keyboard. But I also want to change the width of column B. So I'm just going to navigate across. We don't even have to go through the dialog box using the keyboard shortcuts. Now we've got my favorite keyboard shortcut, my secret weapon. Just hit the F4 key. Hit the F4 key. Repeat the last action. You can go and do that on any other columns you want. Repeat the last action. Works with formatting cells, putting colors in. The F4 key. Repeat the last action there. Okay, working through our shortcuts, we've done column width, selecting to the end of the column, selecting to the end of the row. Let's suppose with our data, I can see the row heights are uneven here. We want to make the row heights even. We're looking for that consistency, uniformity, sense of calm that's going to make the user want to engage with your data. How do we select to the end of the um, column here? Control, shift, and down selects to the end of a contiguous range to the next empty cell, in other words. And then what's a good row height? Alt H O H here. Good row height, I find works pretty well. Row height 15, hitting enter, and we've got our consistent row heights there. Now, if you want to pick up keyboard shortcuts yourself, I try to learn a new one every time I open Excel. Just hit Alt and you'll see the letters appearing there. So Excel saying, if you hit this letter, we're going to go into that part of the bar at the top. So I'm going to hit H, O, H, just following the letters there. That gets me to the row high dialog box. So that's how you learn keyboard shortcuts yourself. And as I said, I try to learn one per Excel, Excel session. So moving on, let's talk about changing cell background color. So this is a situation where you don't have formats in the file that you can copy from. You've got to kind of create your own format. So what might we want to do? Well, in these cells, I want to give us a nice um, blue shading there. I could copy the formats down. Well, let's kind of do it from scratch. So let's go Control, Shift, and Down Arrow to select the whole column. We want to put a background color in. What's the keyboard shortcut? Another sequential shortcut, Alt, H, H, and then we're in our colors using the arrow keys. Now you can choose whatever color works for you. I suggest a light color, this light blue color or light gray. You'll see them often in my spreadsheets. They seem to work well. So manage to change the uh, background color that got an option to change to a custom color here. I often do this. Uh, you can see we've got our branded colors here. I'm often working to a company color scheme or I create my own color scheme. So I want to put a specific color in. I do that using the keyboard shortcuts as well. Alt H H and then M for mic. More colors. And this is great. So you can put your hex code in here. You can put your RGB in here and hit OK. And then that color will be kind of saved uh, in this area should you need to access it. So accessing custom colors using keyboard shortcuts is all possible. OK, what about removing background color? I find myself wanting to do this a lot. We just want to remove the background color. Alt H H N N for nothing allows us to remove that background color. And the most common keyboard shortcut you'll use, Control Z to undo because they I do want to uh, retain that background color. What about changing font color? And then we'll move on to borders uh, after that. Well, I want to change the font as well. So let's throw in a bonus here. Control shift right, control shift down to uh, select all the data. Now, I recommend you always change the default font. Don't use Calibri. I generally recommend Arial. So let's go for that. Alt H F and then F again. I can see two Fs on the screen there above the font type. Uh, we're going to go to Arial here. Now, Excel has suggested Arial. Uh, that's because it must be the top left cell in the selection, I imagine. And then we hit Enter, and now we do have uh, some consistency of formatting here. But it has flagged up a problem. Firstly, the font size is too big. So Control Shift right, Control Shift down, Alt H F S to change the font size. 
I'm going to go to font size nine and hit enter. And yeah, that just made me relax a bit. Now the text isn't challenging. The edge of the cells improves readability and accessibility. Uh, just one thing to touch on here. We did have a little problem. I'm just going to quickly change the uh, row column width here. If you've got this kind of issue, so you, and you want to just make the cell big enough to accommodate what's in the cell there. So you can use something called auto fit. Select all the data, control shift down, and then go alt H O. And then I'm just following the menu here. I want auto fill column width, which is I. Now that's going to set the column width to the minimum column width that will accommodate all of the selected data. So that's a nice option, auto, auto fit, but I don't use it. I don't use auto fit because I want a single formatting unit for column width. So for example, 12 and then multiples of that unit. So 6, 12, 24, 5, 10, 15, 20. I use a base unit and then multiples of that. So for example, here, alt H O W, I'm going to go 8 here. Seems to be about right for the Surname, I'm going to double that. So we're using multiples of that unit. I'm going to go 16 for gender. Could we take it down to four? And that seems to just about work. And then I'll take the OW again for salary. Let's say eight here. Okay, that's too small. I'll take OW 16. And then I'm going to hit the F4 key to, to repeat the last action. So column widths, I'm using a single a unit and multiples of that again just gives a sense of consistency, uniformity, and calm, and that's going to help the user engage with your data. So let's think about cell borders. Now, definitely recommend cell borders because as we'll see, see later, we're going to switch off the grid line. So dead simple. What about all cell borders? So control shift right, control shift down. Again, a sequential shortcut, alt H B A allows us to put all of those uh, borders on. Now, that might work fine for you. Personally, I don't like having those vertical borders in because I think the data is more readable without those vertical borders kind of obstructing obstructing your progress across the row. So I'm going to go control Z. How could we go about putting just the top and bottom borders in? You know, I'm not sure about the keyboard shortcut here. So you have to tell me in the comments. I'd go into the formatting dialog box for this. So I've selected the data, Alt H O E gets us into the formatting dialog box. I'm going to select border. And then I go one, two, three, top, middle, and bottom. Hit OK. For me, it's only a subtle change, isn't it? But it just increases the readability uh, of the data. Hmm. Okay, what else would we want to do with borders while well, changing uh, the border style? Yeah. So if you want that thicker border, a different color border, you don't have to do that uh, by going through the formatting dialog box as I just did. We can do that, control shift and down here, just by working through the menu. So I'm going to go Alt H B, and then I'm going to get a bit of help from the guidance here, from the guidance letters. I'm going to go for I, I think it was for line color, Alt H B I gives me line color here. I'm going to go, I'm just going to go for an orange a border here to make it step step out, uh, stand out rather, and then Alt H B uh, Y allows me to change the line style, so the thickness of the line. Alt H B Y, Alt H B Y here, and then I'm just going to go for a thicker line here. So I should have a thick orange line. Not necessarily recommending this, but just for illustration, you can do this all using the keyboard shortcut. So Control Shift down. Alt H B R is going to give me that right uh, line there. And then control uh, Alt H B O, I believe, for bottom border. Checking the letters here. Alt H B O gives me that bottom border there. So, yeah, maybe not too bad. I've got the orange working with the dark blue there, but just as a demonstration of how, how this can all work. Right. Let's make sure this header displays Alt H O H. So I'm going to go for 30 here, kind of 15 times two. So that idea of a single unit being multiplied and then Alt H W uh, allows me to wrap the text there. You can see this is a bit too small. So I'm going to change this to 12, Alt H O W uh, 12 there. And you can see we're moving towards something much better. Right. So we've worked through our border shortcuts. Finally, to make this super smooth, we'd want to toggle the grid lines, switch those grid lines off 
after I've done something with this title here. So I'm going to paste the formats in from this sheet, uh, control C and then control alt V T just sorting out that title. Let's make this super, super clean by switching off the grid lines, alt W V G grid lines are off. Now I think this spreadsheet is looking pretty good. Only switch the grid lines off if you've put the borders in, otherwise your data is going to be unreadable. And finally, let's freeze the panes here. So I'm going to select the cell, navigating using the arrow keys to the cell that I want in the top left corner, if you like, of the freeze pane. And then Alt W F F puts those freeze freeze panes on. And I've now got the beautiful freeze panes effect if I uh, scroll down the data. And our final shortcut that I've used several times is Control Z to undo. So we've done pretty well there, I think. This data is looking pretty good. We've done it almost exclusively using keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts for me transformed the way I was using Excel. How did you get on with this video? Any keyboard shortcuts that I've missed, let me know in the comments below. And the next video to watch is in the pinned comment below this video. I'll see you there.